It's a beautiful evening, and I'm going on down through the orchards to see if I can find some fruit. Figured I might as well take you along with me. I've got my buckets, I've got my machete, and I've got fruit trees to go hunt through. I'm gonna go check on the bananas over here first, and I want you to see this. This is Malanga growing in our drainage line. This is actually where the gray water drains out and the Malanga grows in here. This is really cool. It's just the perfect place for it because they love the moisture and I just wanted you to see that. I didn't plan that, but it was a good plan. There's a lot of stalks of bananas, but there aren't any that I'm seeing that are ripe right at the moment. We've been getting some lately. Look at these little cute guys. Aren't those awesome? Not ready though. Lots of bananas here, but yeah, not seeing any that are done. Maybe we'll have some more luck over here. Well, these are getting close. Not yet. There's some more that are coming, but not ready. Here, we have some more, which are obviously not ready. Eventually, we're gonna have a ton of bananas. But the rainy season just started this last month, so not yet. Those are looking good, too. There's some plantains on the other side I'm gonna have to check. Look, there's some bananas up there, too. See them? All over the place. Let's go check on the plantains. All right, on the way over to the plantains here, I see that we have some mangoes that are coming in and some up in the trees. And there's one that's fallen on the ground over there too. I'm gonna grab these. Just found a fallen soursop here. I'll throw that in the bucket. There's another one up in the tree right there. You see it? I think that one's about ready. We could probably pull it too. Look at this puppy. Isn't that awesome? Soursop is such a good fruit too. It's got an unbelievable flavor. Soursop in the setting sun. A drama like no other. Soursop. Soursop. Got a mango I can't reach here. There we go. Oh, it's got a bad spot. Ah, too bad. All right, I made it over to the plantains on the other side. Those are not ready. But if I go around, there may be some back here. There's quite a few of them. There's some more back in there that you can see. And I see that this one here actually fell over and doesn't have a bloom on it. So it's got a break in it, which means I should just take the whole thing down. These right here are probably fat enough to harvest, but I think I'm gonna give them a little more time to round out. I've already got like three or four stalks of them hanging up and around, so there's no need to get greedy and pull them all in. We'll just wait and see. I'm coming back around right now and I've found a breadfruit here that I have to get. So I'm gonna cut it down, throw it in the bucket. There's another breadfruit right here that I can't reach. So I'm gonna have to try and do it the awesome way. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Look at that, sliced breadfruit. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that uh, natives in Hawaii, you know, they often cut the breadfruit in the tree first. It's, uh, it's a traditional method. So aloha to all my Hawaiian watchers. I respect the way of your people. It's starting to get late, the crickets are out. I think I've got enough fruit for now. I got my breadfruit picker and uh, got a couple that I couldn't reach otherwise. And I think I'm content. We've got a lot out here. 
I already pulled in a big stalk of bananas earlier today. We pulled in some cocoa. This will hold us for the next day or so, I think. Thanks for joining me for a bit and hanging out. Be sure to like, subscribe, visit me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. And until next time, keep growing. So I went online and I, I found an artist's representation of what they think the Bofemus looks like. It's um, Tempest in a Teardrop.com. And see, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just thinking this is not like, judging by the footprints that I've seen, no way. Um, this is much more cartoony. I think that the, the lumpiness is correct. Um, yeah.